the master of deconstruction. And I thought that was a brilliant display. People sometimes say his clothes are a bit too theatrical for a house like uh, Margiela. It's a conceptual house, but they were hyper-conceptual clothes. And that was a great collection and show. As with everything he's doing at Margiela, it was a fantastic way of combining his own aesthetic and codes with the codes of the house and this idea of repurposing and deconstruction and taking things apart, in this case, all variants of classic gentlemen's coats and grafting them onto the idea of a kind of modern glamour. So you had a trench coat with a kind of off-the-shoulder décolleté neckline or slightly shimmered with feathers or sequins so that was kind of like a Marlena Dietrich dress meeting a kind of hefty man's overcoat I mean I thought it was so wonderful particularly the kind of corrugated cardboard pleating on those gabardine trench coats was really remarkable. The sheer magic of his fantasy and the sense of, sort of, sort of cutting everything off and separating it and putting it back together again, like a, a bit of a mad scientist, yet always having beauty to it, rather than it's not an experiment that doesn't produce a certain fantasy and, and beauty. That's what's good about it. fantastic about John Galliano and touching about him. It's his lightness and his technique. That's why he's a designer who the French have embraced. He's the genuine article. John Galliano is a proper designer. He's not a stylist. He can style like, like a demon, but he's a proper designer and he's touching and it's wonderful to see his work. People realize and come back and realize that we all make mistakes forgive and then look at Margiela and go bravo because he's continuing. <laughs>